Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will know how to prove the tangent flow for the sum and the difference between two angles. So if we have tan a plus b tangent of a plus b this equals tangent of angle a plus tangent of angle b over 1 negative tangent of A by tangent of B. We can notice here that the sign here is positive. It didn't change in the numerator while it changed in the denominator. That's of course because the tangent equals sine over cosine. And in the sign low for the sum and the difference between the two angles, the uh, sign between the two angles doesn't change, while in the cosine it changes. For uh, the proof of the sign and the cosine lows for the sum and the difference between two angles, click on these links here. So, as a tangent equals the sine over cosine, we can know how, uh, from where did this rule come. So, tangent of A plus B equals um, sine A plus B over cosine A plus B. Sine A plus B equals sine A cosine B, then positive, and we flip, sine B, cosine A, over cosine A plus B equals cosine A, then cosine B, and the negative, then sine A, sine B. Alright, we want to simplify this in order to get it in this form. What we will do is multiply uh, or divide the we will divide the numerator and the denominator by cosine A cosine B. So if we do that, we will realize that the answer will be here. Sine A cosine B over cosine A cosine B, this will um, leave sine A over cosine A, which is tan A. The positive, then sine B cosine A over cosine A cosine B, cosine A will go with cosine A to leave sine b over cosine b, which is tan b. Over. So, the positive sign doesn't change. Here in the denominator, we have cosine a, cosine b, over cosine a, cosine b, equals 1. This is where the 1 came from. Then the negative sign, sine a over sine b, Oh, or sine A sine B over cosine A cosine B, we will have sine A over cosine A, which is tan A, and sine B over cosine B, which is tan B. And this is where the rule came from. So let's say if we have a negative sign here instead of a positive sign, so it will not change in the numerator. This would be a negative, while in the denominator it will be plus, because tan equals sine over cosine. In the cosine low, the sign changes, while in the sine low, the sign does not change. And this is the proof of the tangent flow for the sum and the difference between two angles. Now we knew 
um, how to prove the sine, cosine, and the tangent though for the sum and the difference between two angles. Next time you will have some applications and examples in order to show this more. And until the next time, I thank you for watching and see you.